I got an uh, script for uh, what to do with, since the second year MBBS is going to start how to read for it. Should I read from this talk from this or still say from heart, right? That's always better. So if you're done with your first year of MBBS, last two months for you must have been the most difficult time for a, as a student in your entire career from LKG till now, right? NEET UG looks very small now. Physics, chemistry, biology, easily doable. It comes nothing close to your she looks too pretty try to catch her anatomy. Lexar, retinaculum, compartments of muscles, nerves, veins, artery. Oh my God. Tiny, tiny hippocampus, right? Everything has to be stored there. And I'm sure you must have studied the physiology, your uh, countercurrent mechanism, your S1, S2, cardiac cycle, right? Korotskov sound, uh, was a pricked, made, new bar chamber, nothing would have worked. Biochemistry, don't even start with that. Glycolysis, gluconeogenesis, glycogenolysis, name of the cycle itself is confusing, right? And you have done that, you have completed that, you have passed that, it's done and dusted. So if you have completed your first year of MBS, for me personally, that's one of the most difficult part of the entire medical career. If you're done with that, now let's go on to the second year. If you're new here for the first time, I'm Dr. Ranjit, your pathology teacher at PW Medet. And please hit the subscribe button. Let's learn more about medicine and learning medicine holistically in the best way possible. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to take care of your second year of MBBS. Like you must, some of your seniors must have already told you, right? Second year is very difficult. Robins is impossible to read. I'm going to talk the clear facts, no sugar coating, nothing which comes easy is going to stay with you for a longer time and whatever is going to have be, be, be difficult, it will definitely stay with you for a longer time, right? I'll divide them into three different things. One, about pathology, in detail about how to study pathology, what books to follow and how to read Robins and a brief overview about pharmacology and microbiology from a senior's perspective, right? So let's take pathology. Robins, amazing book, literally an amazing book and written by an Indian. That's the most important thing here. The reason name of Robbins is Robbins and Kumar. Dr. Vinay Kumar, who is a graduate of Rajasthan from a medical college in Rajasthan and did his MD from Ames and he's now sitting in uh, US and authoring a book which is beautiful, fantastic from the language to the illustrations. Everything in the book is good. Your first year of MBBS is like your foundation of a building. The second year of MBBS is like the pillars of the building. Your clinical subjects is the building. So if you want to become an amazing clinician sitting in your OPD maybe five years down the road, seeing patients, diagnosing them, getting addicted to it, managing the patient, see the happiness and the smile on the face of the patient. If you want that, this base is very, very important. So please read Robbins. Robbins, if I can equate, Robbins is like the NCRT for your MBBS, like for your, you had for your NEET huge, right? It's like that. So if you Look at Robbins, you cannot read cover to cover. Maybe a student tries to do that, the student will fail obviously. So how to read Robbins? This Robbins, if you see, there's general pathology, there's hematology, there's systemic pathology. I would say general pathology, the cell injury, inflammation, genetics, immunology, neoplasia. Must to do from Robbins pathology only. Whenever you read the textbook, make it a habit that you have to do it consistently. Every single day after your school or your college, Go back to your uh, hostel or your home, take a nice break, eat something, go play and come back. Once you come back, make it a habit that you read at least for two to three pages, minimum two to three pages to start with. The pace will automatically pick up. You do consistently two to three pages every day for a month. Second month, I am 100% sure you can cover five pages because you will know the knack of how the book is written and you will be able to pick up the important points. And by this time, the second or third month goes, you must have been a bit more well versed in approach to a patient because the morning half of your second year MBBS, you must have had clinical postings, right? So when you go to the postings, I want you to carefully observe. Don't try to read new things, just observe what your seniors are doing, what the intern is doing, what the professor is guiding them, how to do them. Just observe. So when you observe, let's take a patient with uh, bronchiectasis, which is a disease in the lung. You will see that these are the examination findings. These are the investigations required. This is how the disease spread. That's what Robbins fills. What investigation do I write comes in Robbins and microbiology, pathology and microbiology. What drug do I give comes in pharmacology. So once you attend your clinical postings, please don't skip that. That makes your second year MBBS much more palatable because you know what is required. You need not read all the thousand pages of Robbins. You can selectively read the important points, which you're going to apply when you come to that portion in a couple of years. That's what makes it better. 
if you sit in your hostel room and cram robins and i'm 100% sure it's not possible at all plus it's related to the patient management right so don't skip the clinical postings read from that observe from them and when you read you know what to do what is important and when you know that these are important points make a note write your own handwritten notes because it goes long way not just till end of your second year on epg it goes till till you practice medicine because i always believe that a faintest ink is stronger than the strongest memory so make your handwritten notes of the most important salient points you know what are the salient points because you attend the clinics in the morning and in robins like i said if you read robins general pathology very carefully the medded videos are definitely supplementary for you if you find starting trouble definitely i'll be breaking down into smaller topics and i'll be trying to integrate it link it with your clinical medicine so you can have a holistic approach of what is important then hematology and systemic pathology are just application of that you need not write read every single bit and piece in your systemic pathology whenever you come to the second volume of robins your cbme curriculum is well designed such that all the important things from your pathology will be covered we'll follow the same cbme curriculum in our live batches so that there's no discrepancy from what my country or my nmc requires out of a second year mbbs graduate right so definitely pw medal will be helping you to sail through the most difficult book supposedly most difficult book that's robins pathology so once robins is done let's see what to do for pharmacology and microbiology pharmacology kd tripathi is an amazing book there's no doubt about that at all i am not authority to pharmacology i'll leave it to dr ankit sir uh, dr ankit will take an uh, amazing class for you lecture for pharmacology and both the recorded lectures and live lectures so from a senior i'm going to give few advices regarding pharmacology from a doctor's perspective for me once you've joined mbbs you're not my student you're not my junior you're my colleague that's all so from a doctor's perspective what is more important in pharmacology is names classifications might be important from a second year of mbbs from a doctor not much important mechanism of action is definitely important adverse drug reaction is important and the most important of all is the drug interactions if you see a patient who is an oral hypoglycemic person i'm going to give steroids to them what will be the change should i change it that's very important the pharmacodynamics and kinetics are very important if i'm going to give an antibiotic to a person who is already having a renal failure should i change the dose that's important because that's what makes you a better clinician couple of years down the road when you start prescribing so focus on that the hardcore pharmacology of tankits lectures and kd tripathi is more than enough for you to cover them when i come back to microbiology apurva shastri as well as panika both are amazing books for microbiology again standard books are never to be replaced in whatever subject it is across the mbbs curriculum because books stays with you for a longer time and our lectures here at pw medad is just to support you to read the books so once you read the books you will keep be going off in flying colors dr mamta will make microbiology very very interesting it's not a subject which just rote learning or memorizing there is logic behind microorganisms also that also you will really reveal uh, that very soon in another lectures one tiny organism stopped us for two years right covid a tiny virus that's the power of a microorganism right so from a doctor's view what is required for microbiology yes from a student's view gram positive gram negative might be required the enzymes the test might be required but from a doctor's view what is required the new cbma curriculum has divided your microbiology into systemic approach like cardiovascular system respiratory system gi system so that's what a doctor is going to write and the lectures live lectures in your pw medad app is based on the system wise approach so we are not making you good students our entire goal here as a team is to make you good doctors to practice right so again with the input of clinical postings what you have let's say you have seen a patient with a uh, tiny ear infection you will know the organism you will know the virulence factors from theoretical microbiology you will know how to identify them diagnose them the investigations of choices from the practical microbiology and if i have a tiny organism what will the drug i will give from pharmacology and maybe in between if there's a pathogenesis you read from pathology so if you cover the three second year subjects like i said these are pillars for your clinical medicine you'll definitely take care of all the things right so trust us second year journey with us is going to be really really amazing and i'm sure you'll enjoy it to the core and i'm very excited to start the new batch and start teaching young medical graduates about the beauty of pink and blue nothing ends without testing yourself right mcq is important be it neat pg or next exam whichever you're going to write we are going to prepare for that also simultaneously just because i am preparing for entrance exam doesn't mean that i should not enjoy medicine we'll enjoy medicine 
solving mcq is a by product of enjoyment and obviously it's not the main goal it's a sideways it will automatically get clear second there is a place like i said in the start you already know about your first year of mbbs your basics you're going to the clinical postings in the morning and you are solving reading about path pharma and micro so this is the best way for you to develop your analytical skills i know already the facts i have seen patients symptoms i merge them and come to a diagnosis or a management that's what your next or neat pg is supposed to have clinical application based questions and the best time to start applying is second year of mbbs because in first year a bit more immature you're not exposed to hospitals much in second year you have an adequate exposure to hospital at the same time good enough time to read when you come to third and final year you will have more clinical works that time you might not have that much time to experiment so this is the best time to experiment to solve any any lecture when after every lecture live lecture pw medal you'll have dpps that will have like let's say there's a topic on inflammation questions related to inflammation and clinical scenarios related to inflammation will be there after every lecture so imagine 6 days in a week you are giving your brain amazing food to think amazing way to integrate them learn them and practice them nothing is better than that right as a best way i can say you can utilize the second year of mbbs to form a bridge to a clinical medicine in the next couple of years so that's about this video the entire video is for a student who has completed your first year of mbbs and trying to enter your second year if you have any more doubts regarding pathology or how to read for second year of mbbs please put them in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to answer your questions see you soon till then bye bye from dr ranjit bye bye